Welcome to Vero's Kitchen. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. We finally reached 100 subscribers. And to celebrate, I have a special guest, my sister Gabby. Hi guys. Together we will be making water of roselle with dry hibiscus leaves. Also known as agua de jamaica. It's a very popular traditional Mexican drink. Also known as an agua fresca. <laughs> yes. So here we go. You're gonna need a jar, dried hibiscus flowers, two and, a, two and a half cups, two to three cups of sugar, and water. So the way I do it is I put the heat between a medium and a high heat, and then I just let it boil. I throw it in and I just let everything boil. And you're gonna see the color starts to change right away. And we just wanna concentrate of this color. So since it's boiling now, we want to mix it, make sure all the juice is released from the flour. Mm. And it smells delicious. It does. We'll let it boil for a few more minutes, maybe about 10, right? About 10 minutes. Yeah. All right, so this was cooking about 10 minutes in total. And look how concentrated the water looks now. That's about the color you want it to be. All right, this is done cooking, so now it's time to strain it. We want to make sure we strain it to get all the liquid out of the flowers, and also we don't want the flowers in our drink. <laughs> Nobody likes to chew on flowers while they're trying to enjoy their drink. <laughs> all right. You want to make sure you strain also just the liquid, because as you guys can see, Sometimes even though it looks like just liquid, it's still, the flowers will still come out. All right, all of the water has been strained now, so all the concentrated juices is already in the jar. Now we're gonna add ice to pull it down. We're gonna put a lot of ice since it's really hot. All right, so now you can see all the ice is in there. We're gonna mix this all together, get it to cool down a bit. All right, let's get some more water in here. Otherwise, it's way too concentrated and I'm not gonna like it. I don't know, maybe you might. <laughs> You're gonna wanna pretty much fill up the whole jar. There we go. Once that's done, now she's gonna add sugar to sweeten it up a bit. Otherwise, it tastes really tart or sour. Or, I don't know. Here we go. And you can add about two cups worth. Right here we have three cups. So I'm gonna first use about two cups and then see how it tastes. And if we need more, then we'll add more. Everybody does like it their own way, so it's always gonna be to your liking. And we'll make sure the sugar is nice and mixed in. And give it a taste. Mmm, it's really good. It needs a little bit more sugar, but it's really good. So we'll add about maybe the half of what's left. And I think that should be good. So that probably ended up being about two and a half cups. Alright, this is finally ready, so now it's time to taste it. There we go. Just in case it spills. Color. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh. Delicious. Alrighty. Cheers is cheers. Mm. Oh, so good. So good. And so refreshing. It's perfect. It sure is. Thank you for having me on your show. And thank you so much for joining me. Anytime. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked the video, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you here next time in Vettel's Kitchen.